if I'm anything, I want to be logical, right? I want to be somebody who, when they think about things, when they look at different situations, their thoughts and their opinions kind of make sense. But at the same time, I don't want to always just think about things the way that others do just because others do. So when I was growing up, cards were all about corners. Corners were number one. Uh, centering was secondary. Eye appeal was secondary. It was really about the corners. How nice is the card? And over time, what has happened is it's been about what's the eye appeal of the card? And, and I frankly get that, especially with vintage stuff where the corners aren't going to be perfect and the centering is not going to be perfect and there's going to be print lines and things. And so the fact that we have this increase of eye appeal makes perfect sense to me. That's completely logical. But what about when a rookie card is not a very good looking card? It's not an attractive card. But the second or the third year card is a really attractive card. Doesn't it seem like the more attractive, older vintage card for that player should be worth more? I mean, I did this video recently about, you know, I think rookie cards are overrated. And to a certain point, I do stand by that. I understand the appeal of a rookie card for obvious reasons. It's the first time they showed up. It's the oldest one that makes sense. But if it's an ugly card, if the second card or the third card is much better looking and we're all about eye appeal, doesn't it seem like that second or third year card should be at least competitive in the value? The rookie card continues to be worth so much more than the second and the third year cards, even when the rookie card is ugly. I'm going to take a look here at 10 different rookie cards and times that I think the second or the third year card is a better looking card. It has better eye appeal, but the price is still peanuts compared to the rookie card. Check this out. I know this opinion is a little bit out there, but I'm just asking the question. Tell me what you think. All right, so we're going to be taking a close look at 10 different vintage rookie cards and times that I think the second year or the third year card are superior in their look than the rookie card. And then what are the prices of those cards? All right, so the obvious one here is the 51 Bowman Mantle. I actually really like that card a lot. The 51 Bowman Mantle versus the 52 Tops Mantle, his second card. So the rookie card versus the second year card, I think most of us agree that the 52 Tops is a cooler looking card. And the Mantle Rookie in a 1, SGC 1, recently sold for just under $7,200. But the 52 Mantle in a 1 sold for over $28,000. So to me, that makes a lot of sense. It makes sense to me that the 52 Tops is a better looking card. It's from an iconic set. Should be worth more. But in the rest, they're not. So we have the Jackie Robinson 48 Leaf here. And not the greatest looking card of Jackie Robinson versus the 50 Bowman. His second card. I really like the 50 Bowman. It's an iconic card. You see t-shirts with that card on it. And to me, it's much better looking than the Leaf. Well, the Leaf... Sells for $7,500 in a recent sale. And in the same grade, the 50 Bowman sold, sold for 1800 
So significantly more expensive for the rookie, which again, we understand that, but don't, don't we all think that the 50 Bowman is better looking than the 48 Leaf? Okay, we got Satchel Page here. Everybody loves Satchel Page. 48 Leaf, that is not a good looking card, but the 53 Tops is gorgeous. The 53 Tops card is such a good looking card. So you look at those two, and, and everybody would agree that the better looking card is the 53 Tops. Well, I went back and I looked. This card actually sold in a buy it now for $26,000 for the rookie. And in a four for the 53 tops, it's 1310 So it's like 25 times more. Not 20, just over between 20 and 25 times more for the 48 leaf, even though it's a far inferior looking card. Another time, I think the second or third year card is better looking. The Pete Rose, the floating head card. Not a good looking card, right? Versus the 64 tops. You got the all-star rookie trophy on it. It's a tight shot of him. He looks super young. He's got his Reds hat on. I mean, it's a really good looking card versus the floating head that he shares with three other guys. Well, in a five, the rookie sold for fifteen twenty-five recently, but the second year sells for three eighty. I mean, but everybody would say if they didn't know which one was the rookie, and you just had the two cards, you said which one do you like more? Everybody would say the sixty-four tops Pete Rose is better looking than the sixty-three tops Pete Rose, and we're into eye appeal, right? It's all about eye appeal. So we've got the 67 tops Rod Carew. Now, anytime a card shares its rookie with other players, that's a little bit of a turnoff. And anytime we've got that all-star rookie trophy on there, that is a little bit of a boost to the cool factor. We look at the 68 tops, and man, that's a cool-looking card. To me, this is, this is an easy one. The 68 is way better looking. Well, the rookie in a five recently sold for $472. And the, the second year with the rookie trophy sold for 64 But don't we all think the 68 is better looking? So if we really like I appeal more, why are we paying five to ten times more for the rookie, that's inferior looking. Duke Snyder. The Duke Snyder 49 Bowman, not that cool looking. The 50 Bowman, very cool looking. You got the stadium in the back, or you got the dugout, you got that old leather briefcase on the step there. He's swinging the bat. Super cool looking card, right? Well, the rookie... The one that's one year prior and worse looking with that ugly yellow background is $1,500 in a four. And the 50 is 149 So it's less than 10% the value of the rookie. The rookie's just one year older, but it's not nearly as cool looking. How about Joe Morgan? Again, anytime we share a card, it's a little bit of a turnoff for most of us. The 65 Joe Morgan versus that 66. There's that all-star rookie trophy again. Much better picture. It's his own card. Super good-looking card, right? So we have this super good-looking card versus a not-so-good-looking card. $130 for the rookie. And in the same grade, for the second year, it's $40. So it's, you know, less than a third, it's 30% of the price. 
in a five for both. I'm all about eye appeal. Now, here's one of the worst looking rookie cards coming up next. Oh, the Roy Campanella rookie card is not a good looking card. That is not an attractive card in any way. Looks like the airbrush to hat on. Doesn't even have a logo. But the 51 Bowman is sweet. He's thrown off the catcher's mask because he's going back for a pop-up. He's got his catcher's gear on. I mean, the 51 Bowman is an awesome looking card. And the 49 Bowman has an ugly background, ugly hat, no logo. So the rookie just sold for over $2,000 in a six. And the same grade, just over $400 in a six. So it's five times more expensive for the rookie. Two years older, ugly card versus beautiful card. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, is it about eye appeal or is it not? The 67, Tom Seaver. Again, shares his card. Oh, but that's 68, and we got the rookie trophy again. That all-star rookie trophy, so cool looking. Much better picture. His own card. So much going for that card. So then... We compare the prices, right? Well, the price of the rookie is $750. And the price of the second year, the better looking card, is 68 bucks. Again, it's less than 10% of the rookie card, even though it's a superior looking card in every way. It's just one year prior. Probably the, the worst-looking rookie card, this and the Campanella are in the running for that title, is the Hoyt Wilhelm, which is the 52 tops. Now, the Hoyt Wilhelm is a high number. I get it. 52 tops, high number, super expensive. I totally understand. And let's face it, the 53 is not gorgeous either, but it's, I mean, they really picked that photo to do... A portrait of for the 52 tops. So it's $865. Again, I understand that's a high number, and I understand that even a two high number common is expensive. But the second year is $24 in a two. $24 versus $865. I don't care if it's a high number of anything. That rookie's an ugly looking card. Just flat out, it's ugly. So I guess my question is, I agree that eye appeal is increasing in importance, especially on vintage cards. Is the appeal of the look of the card going to start to change values? Because these rookies are worth so much more money, just five and ten times more money than the second years, even when the second year cards or the third year cards are a far superior looking card tell me what you think about this i'm serious is there a time that the second or third year cards that are far superior looking than the, a rookie card of that player going to start to catch up in value are they going to start to close the gap at least i am curious on your opinion because i'm all in on i appeal but is it just the eye appeal of the card or the picture itself?